In this video, we will see how to fix KB5057056 update not installing on Windows 10. For example, we will show the workarounds in Windows 11. You may apply in your Windows 10 system. Here are the fixes and the first workaround is go to Windows search and type disk cleanup and open disk cleanup in your system. Select the drive you want to clean up, basically C drive where your program files exist and click on OK and this cleanup wizard for C drive open here make the check against all these options recycle bin, temporary files, thumbnails, downloaded catches, temporary internet files make the check against all these options and click on OK are you sure you want to permanently delete these files choose delete files and let the disk clean up your system and after that check whether your windows update installing or not if not go to the next fixes Right click on start button and choose settings. Here from the left side of settings, go to system settings. Here scroll down and look for the option troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot. Here choose other troubleshooters. and here run windows update troubleshoot click on run and follow on screen instruction to complete the windows update troubleshooting in your system and after that check whether your windows update installing or not if not go to the next fixes and the next one is go to windows search and type cmd and open command prompt windows run as administrator mode In command prompt windows execute the command as shown on screen this three dism tool one by one dism online scan help dism online check help and dism online restore help execute all these three commands one by one followed by enter key on each time in command prompt windows <coughs> to scan your computer health to check your computer health and to restore your computer health and after that execute the command sfc slash scan now and press enter and wait till 100% verification complete it will scan your system for any corrupted or bad system files and repair them accordingly after that don't forget to restart your system and check whether your windows update installing or not if not go to the next fixes right click on the start button and choose run here in run dialog box type services.msc this command will open services windows in your system click on ok services windows will now open here you will have to start or restart windows update related services and the first one is background intelligent transfer service bits service right click on it and choose first choose a start otherwise restart and thereafter apply a double click on it to open its properties and set a startup type as automatic and finally choose apply and okay to save the changes the second services is scroll down and look for cryptographic services same process right click on it and first choose a start otherwise restart thereafter apply a double click on it to open its properties and go to a startup type section and set a startup type as automatic and choose apply and okay to save the changes the third services is a scroll down and go to w alphabet and look for windows installer services same process right click on it and choose a start otherwise restart and apply a double click on it to open its properties but you can't change its startup type so close the windows and the last one is windows update services same process right click on it choose a start otherwise restart windows update services and apply a double click on it to open its properties and set a startup type as automatic and choose apply and okay to save the changes after that restart your system and check whether your windows updating installing or not if not go to the next fixes go to windows search and type cmd 
and open command prompt windows run as administrator mode in command prompt windows execute the three these windows update components one by one followed by enter key on each time first execute these four commands one by one to stop these four services and in command prompt windows don't forget to press enter on each time and after that execute these other windows update components in your windows command prompt windows all this command path will also available in my videos description box you may copy from there and after that all these commands one by one execute in command prompt windows and after that execute these four commands to start all those four services you have earlier stopped them execute one by one followed by enter key on each time and thereafter close the windows restart your 